Hey guys, I'm Walt K4OGO. If you follow the channel, you know I'm over in Poland right now operating as SP stroke K4OGO. I got a big backyard and I got a lot of antennas with me that I'm experimenting with. I'm building some antennas and I brought some with me. One of the antennas I brought with me is a mini G5 RV. It's basically a reduced size uh, uh, version of the G5 RV that my friend Tim N9SAB uh, builds and sells and um, this antenna is pretty cool. I mean I know there's been other variations of, of, of the G5 RV. There's been the uh, ZS6 BKW, uh, the W0 BTU, um, different types where people um, use this kind of antenna. The one I'm putting up is basically uh, from dimensions and whatever. It's, it's almost a half size of, of the original uh, G5 RV that was designed uh, by G5 RV uh, Louis Varney in I think it was 1946. Um, Louis was a member of the Royal Corps of Signals for uh, the British military during World War II. He's a radio guy and uh, it was brilliant. He, he, he designed this antenna and there's been a lot of people uh, from 1946 all the way to the day that have experimented with this antenna, that built this antenna. They've had some success. I mean, there's some people, like all antennas, there's, a, there's going to be people that aren't happy with it. But um, I put this thing up, the one that Tim built, and, uh, and I've had some really good success with it. I've enjoyed it. Um, Tim's, uh, he advertises, this is from uh, him on his uh, site where he sells the antenna. He kind of gives some characteristics of the antenna. From 40 all the way down to 10 meters, I'll, I'll give you, I'll tell you what he says. He says, for 40 meters, it's like a half-wave dipole. Uh, for 20 meters, it's like a, it acts like a, the characteristics of a folded dipole. Uh, 17 meters, it has the characteristics of a collinear array with two half-wave uh, wires fed in phase. Uh, 15 meters, it's like a uh, center-fed long wire antenna. Uh, 12 meters, it's like a full-wave antenna. And then 10 meters, it's like two full-wave antennas fed in phase. So um, pretty cool. Um, Tim sells these on uh, Etsy and on eBay. I'll give you a link to... Uh, to, the, Tim, to Tim N9SAB, to his uh, stores on there. One thing I'll tell you about him, he's a one-man show. It's like a mom and pop thing, and he builds all these, puts a lot of love and care in them. I was talking to Tim uh, a few days ago, and he said, hey, let people know if you're going to talk about me in a YouTube channel that I'm a one-man show. If I don't have it in stock, just please be patient. Um, and I get them up, I'll get them done, and, and get them out there. So if you're interested in a version of the G5 RV, you might want to check this one out. This thing's pretty awesome. It's small, and it's the reason why I brought it with me. It can be packed in a bag and, and brought along with it. So um, I'm going to uh, put this thing up, and uh, we'll, I'll show you what, how I put it up and uh, what it was all about. And, uh, and then after that, I'll show you a few... Um, contacts that I made, not lengthy, and just maybe a quick blurb for each band from 40 down to 10, just to show you how it performs. Stick around. I've got the antenna up and a little bit of snow is falling, but I'll give you a rundown. There it is in the air. As you can see, it's still a little, little light snow falling. There's the... Uh, G5RV, I've got a monofilament fishing line going to the top of that, uh, coming out of the top of that second floor window. And there it is, the uh, G5RV antenna built by N9SAB. I've got the line running, the fishing line running over to a fence there, so uh, the wire is attached. What I did in the middle I've got a uh, seven meter pole, telescopic fishing pole, down into the ground. And that's supporting the center of the antenna. Kind of, it's keeping it very, very straight. Uh, there, there's the uh, ladder line going up to it. So it's probably uh, not quite six meters above the ground, but uh, as you can see, it's very straight and horizontal there the highest I've gotten a horizontal antenna here but does kind of slope over that way to the fence uh, here in the back of the yard but that's it the uh, G5 RV antenna from N9 SAB and uh, we're going to uh, see what we can do and uh, see how she performs I got a feeling this is going to be a good one let's go check it out 
Well, there you go. As you can see, I had to uh, support it in the center to keep it up. Um, and, and I really don't have it at probably the best height um, that um, it should be at. This thing should be up uh, horizontal somewhat. I know uh, Tim probably shows different configurations, but I think from what I've read, the best configuration for a G5 RV is a, is a true flat topper um, with, um, you know, I think even Tim even mentions it in his test. He shows uh, SWR and, uh, and what to do with it for SWR wise and his test on it at uh, 28 feet, which is 8.5 meters. I probably have it five and a half to six meters above the ground. Uh, one thing this antenna does require is an ATU, as you just saw in the uh, in the scope that, that Tim has there that he showed. You, you do need an ATU, and some some he even says that some uh, like the I think he even said what the the uh, Yezu um, there's a couple Yezu uh, uh, transceivers that struggle a little bit with it with their internal ATUs. I'm using 20 watts in the Zygu G90, and that thing has an amazing. Uh, tuner in it. I mean, there's other uh, external ATUs that you could use with it. But if you're interested in this antenna, this is not a resonant antenna. This is going to be a multiband antenna for you. You're going to have to have an ATU. But with that ATU, man, this is a great antenna. And I'm going to show you now just a, some quick blurbs of some contacts I made. QSL, you're 5'9 into the north of Poland. I'm an American here working. Thank you so much for taking the call. Yeah, beautiful signal. Very nice. You're okay, you copy Sierra Papa. Stroke Kilo 4, Oscar Golf, Oscar. Good afternoon for Greece, my friend. Nice to meet you again. Uh, very strong signal from 5 to be over 9, rather. Kilo 4, Oscar Golf, Oscar. Good afternoon to you. My name is Matko. And my time is Kilo. I'm from Slovenia. November and you're about 59 with me here. I'm located about uh, 50 kilometers south of the, uh, the town of Alicante over southeast Spain. Well, as you can see, this antenna worked great on every band for me from 40 to 10. The one band, I've got to be honest, for me, I, that was a pleasant surprise, but man, this thing really, in my opinion, and maybe it could have been conditions or whatever, but boy, it operated just awesome on 15 meters. I mean, when I was on 15 meters, my best QSOs, my best reports, um, my receive, everything for 15 meters was just amazing uh, how it did. But I mean, it worked great on every band and a lot of that had to do with uh, conditions, I'm sure. Um, and like I said earlier in the video here, I probably didn't have it in the most optimal spot as far as height above ground. But all in all, it's a great antenna. If you're looking for something lightweight, portable, and you've got the room to stick it out in the backyard, this would actually be a pretty good antenna to leave up all the time. This antenna is rated for 100 watts, so if you've got a 100 watt radio and you want a multi-band uh, G5 RV and you don't have enough room for a full-blown G5 RV, maybe you want to check this antenna out. It's pretty cool, and uh, I, I recommend it. I, it's one of the better antennas that I've used uh, since I've been over here. Really happy with it. Anyway, I hope you enjoyed the video. Uh, I hope uh, 
you may want to uh, check out my friend Tim uh, in 9SAB. Check out his, this antenna and others. I, I, I have a bunch of them now. I, I'm, I'm basically going to probably buy up everything he makes before it's over with because it's just easy for me to throw these little small things in the nice little bags that he puts them in and travel with. And I travel so much, they're great antennas to bring along with me. Anyway, until next time, I'm Walt, K4OGO. Thanks for stopping by. Thanks for watching. Thanks for supporting the channel. And until next time, guys, 73.